Welcome to the Music Works Microcast, business and mindset tips for music professionals. I'm Katie Beardsworth, founder of Polyphony Arts, and for today's business and mindset episode, I want to talk about what it means to be a big thinker and some of the things that you might experience if this is you. First, here's a message from our sponsor. Music Works is generously supported by Alliance Musical Insurance the UK's number one musical instrument insurer with cover for all types of instruments and musical equipment, protecting you against accidental damage, loss, theft and more. Every Alliance Music policy also includes free legal assistance and support, so you can protect yourself both as a musician and in your personal life. Find out more at alliancemusic.co.uk. Alliance, serving the music community since 1960, proud to be the insurer of choice for over 70,000 musicians. Okay, so let's talk about the practicalities of being a big thinker. First of all, what is a big thinker? Well, I think that being a big thinker is having big ideas and ambitions. You might feel like it's difficult to get others to understand and appreciate your ideas. You might find that you're being constantly told to lower your expectations, to reel it in, aim lower, take your time, build up to your goals. These are some key symptoms of being a big thinker. I think this will resonate with a lot of you. The world of music is full of big thinkers. It's one of the reasons why we have such a fabulous and rich industry. In my job, working with musicians on their career planning and strategy, we often talk about mindset things that get in the way of realizing goals. With one client this week, we talked about how she is the big thinker in her family and that other family members are more grounding to keep things steady. This is a very valuable balance, of course, but the risk is that the grounding force brings her down to earth, um, stops her going too far. This then leads to the impression that big thinking is bad news. The grounded person can be trusted and the big thinker cannot. This, by the way, is not the actual situation in this case. This is what the, um, the perception of big thinking has left the big thinker herself to believe. Um, so it's the, it, the case is that she has a supportive family who are, um, you know, occasionally um, blindsided by her big ideas and take a while to catch up to them. But the, the fact of big thinking being something that is risky and untrustworthy um, leaves her doubting her um, herself. It's true that big thinking can be scary. Uh, it can be unsettling, it can make us feel a sense of risk. This is why it's so exciting. I want to talk about how big thinking can be allowed to flourish without fear and without true risk. A bit of risk is essential in my opinion. This to me is about what you need to get the best possible out of your big ideas, understanding, collaboration and trust. Ask yourself these questions about how you work now, there are no right or wrong answers here. We all have different working styles and understanding what we do easily and what we need support with is really key to being successful. So the big question is, um, you know, how many of your ideas come to fruition? Do you have a good um, track record of having an idea and actually seeing it happen? If this does happen for you, then why does that happen? Do you have to do all the work? Do you see them through? Do you sit down with a spreadsheet or a big notice board and say, this is my idea and here are all the steps to make it happen? Are you a natural administrator, a natural connection builder? Um, does, or does someone support you emotionally or practically? You know, do you have a team or a, a VA or a um, collaborative partner that um, takes on some of the work that you divide um, between you? Or does your partner or your family um, say, oh, what a fantastic idea, I know you could do that, um, I can really see that happening. Um, and on the flip side, if this doesn't happen, if you are used to having a lot of big ideas and they never come to fruition or rarely come to fruition, then, then why is that? Um, there's a million reasons why this could happen. Perhaps you need deadlines to drive you to get things finished and when it's your own project, you just don't have that external push that you need. Perhaps you can see the end goal, but you can't see how to get there. 
perhaps you aren't a natural budget creator or a wizard with writing words for, for marketing copy, for instance, or websites. There's just so much practical work involved in making a project happen. Artistic ideas, fundraising, budgeting, collaborating, evaluation, event management, actually delivering the work. Anyone would need help with all of this. Um, but beyond the practical, what is the emotional and motivational impact of the people around you? This can often be harder to spot. Do they see the potential in your ideas and support you in making them happen? Do you feel empowered and comfortable in your role as a big thinker with all that involves? Or do you feel like you're always having to make your ideas and yourself smaller to fit in? Here's what I think big thinkers need from their professional and personal support networks and need to give back in to make the best of their big ideas. Firstly, to be trusted and respected. We need to know that we're making good decisions and to be able to trust our instincts, just as those who take on the more grounding roles are able to do more naturally. We need to trust and respect others. We all need others to make our big ideas happen. Whether it's logistical support or emotional backing, we're always better when we are listening to others, working with others, taking on their ideas, hearing and um, adjusting to their concerns, um, and hopefully also feeding off their appreciation and encouragement. Ultimately, we need to be understood, appreciated and allowed to soar. If you need help, you can find like-minded people at Polyphony Arts. Subscribe to Music Works where you can listen to lots more episodes about the classical music business and sign up to our mailing list on our website, polyphonyarts.com forward slash mailing dash list. And if you really want to dive in, have a look at our strategic coaching program where we can go in depth and make your big ideas happen together. Music Works is generously supported by Allianz Musical Insurance the UK's number one musical instrument insurer, serving the music community since 1960, proud to be the insurer of choice for over 70,000 musicians. Find out more at alliancemusic.co.uk. Thank you for listening.